Hello friends, I am right now sitting in front of Shri Suresh Bhai Kotak. He is the chairman of Kotak group of companies which includes Kotak uh, Commodities, Kotak uh, Ginning and Pressing Factory, Kotak and Company. He is popularly known as the Bhishma Pitama of the cotton industry solely because of his rich experience and his rich knowledge. His thirst for knowledge still continues. You would be surprised to know that he still reads 5 hours in a day, every day. There is nothing in cotton and commodities that he does not know. So, Suresh Bhai, welcome. Yeah. Uh, Suresh Bhai, we start with, how is the year 2014-15 for the textile industry? Well, I think 14-15 was not a very comfortable year for the textile industry. And they found lot of difficulties because of various reasons, national, international, policy and various kind of imponderables. But it was not a very comfortable. Very well said, Suresh Bhai. What he implies is that commodities are no longer isolated. First thing. Second thing, commodities are interrelated with other commodities and, and other factors. So if gold falls or crude falls, the previous concept for that it is no longer related to cotton, that does not stay now. Right. So that has an inherent effect now. And all the commodities have to be studied in terms of relativity and correlation. That's right. Right, Suresh Bhai. And functional view is not the only view which, which we must look at the commodities. There is also an additional view now. Textile industry is a capital intensive industry. It is currently facing critical problems of bad debts and defaults, nationally and internationally. What measures must be taken to enforce law and order in the textile industry? Very clear. Again, the old conventional thinking. Now today what happens is, all the modern instruments of finance are available. Right. What are the modern instruments of finance? Number one, structured finance. Number two, the finance of uh, by by except and hundi, which as early as 1970, Narsiman has recommended. There is a bill discount market. The there are there are people who don't know where to invest money. See, if you protect their security, and if you utilize the liquidity. By protecting the security in a proper structured way, there is no doubt the money will flow. And if you become profitable, if your money is secure, the liquidity is bound to flow. Now even TUF, TUF, that is where the government has made a mistake, but the industry themselves must find out ways and means. Now banks don't give money to the textile industry. Why? Because they know that their money is not safe and secure. So, unless they develop themselves to be credible, unless they change their modalities, unless they change their methods, unless they change their thinking from the hackneyed to the most modern, they cannot make profits and the industry is bound to suffer. Uh, what is the guidance for the student of textiles regarding the opportunity and the pay scale? The textile, there are no textile institutes coming up in the country where the scope is growing day by day. Everybody is looking at India as a textile leader. So what is the scope and the opportunity for the students? I personally feel <clears throat> with the skill in India, the stage is set. We have to create skill in textiles. The city has taken a very lovely, good initiative to develop the students with skill in India. And skill in India stress of our government of India is very, very commendable. We need not only employment, but we need employability. 
So employment and employability, we need the employment and if we don't create employability, the employment is a, is, is an empty word, a, empty word. How, how can you, how you may create employment, but if you don't create employability, then your productivity suffers, your, your country suffers, and you are at a loss, you are at a square one position again. So, Rishwai, if uh, some words for the um, readers of the Cotton Guru newsletter, we, we published a fortnightly Cotton Guru newsletter which is circulated to over 6,000 companies and professionals worldwide. Some word for all of them. I appreciate Manish Bhai. You are doing a job of serving not only cotton, but serving textile industry, which is, of course, very appreciable. All kudos to you. I have been observing you since many years. Your passion and your dedication I always liked. Create people with the same kind of fervor, enthusiasm, we can make India the best textile nation of the world. I am very confident about the future of India. I hope that people will come out of the shells, keep their mind open, think very widely and out of the box. And the world is ours. We can beat China hollow. Much We can go much ahead of China. We have everything much more than any country of the world only we need is the right thinking, directional thinking and appropriate strategies formulation. Thank you. Thank you, Suresh Bhai. <coughs> Thank you for sharing your most experience and valuable views with us.